Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. So in today's video, once again, we are in the essential tools, otherwise known as essentials, and we are specifically looking at the color tool. Now the color tool is a useful way to control the intensity of colors in a photo. Now for you to know, it's often used in the connection with the develop tool. Now we will make a tutorial about the develop tool in the future. So today let's specifically look at the color tool. So we are here in Luminar Neo. We have this beautiful picture right here, as you can see, full of colors. And we are looking at the essentials here and the color tool. Now there, first of all, let's have a look at the first three sliders. So the slider number one called saturation. This slider adjusts the intensity of all colors in your photo. So if I go all the way to the right, it takes all the colors in the image and it increases their intensity. When I go the other way around, when I go all the way down, it takes all the colors away and ultimately turns it to black and white photo. Now, as you can see, I'm really pulling the sliders one way and the other, and I want you to do the same. I really want to push, I really want you to push the sliders all the way to see the effects. There's no point to increase it just a little bit so you can't see it. So when you're trying the sliders, make sure you really push them all the way so you can see what they do. And then when we're going to do the actual edits, we can be more gentle. Now, one more thing I wanted to tell you, when you double click on the name of the slider, just like in this case, so let's say I was here and I double click on it, it reset them to zero or their original value. So saturation, increase intensity of all the colors. Next slider, the white bands. Now this slider adjusts only the intensity of the muted colors, ignoring well-saturated colors. It's useful for achieving fine control when adjusting colors. Now also the result is much more natural with them. So basically we're in saturation case when you go it really pushes all the colors the vibrance if we push it really only go for the colors which were tuned down and push them a little bit so quite lots of photographers what they do when they do their edits they actually bring their saturation down to somewhere around 10 or 15 or 20 and then they push the vibrance in the opposite side to it. So basically the picture becomes much more natural. Let me show you before, after. The result is almost same, just the colors are a little bit more natural. Now the third and final slider is called remove color cast. Now the remove color cast automatically remove undesirable color cast in your images. And it does it by detecting and adjusting its hue. Now this is brilliant slider. I use it all the time. It's really, really handy. And I'll show you how it works right now. So we are not going to use this picture because uh, there is no hue on this one or color cast. So let's go into the catalog and let's focus on this image right here. Now, by the way, if you haven't downloaded the sample files, you can still do it. Head into the description of this video, follow the link and download the files so you can follow me along. So we have this image. We go back to the edit module right here and we are back in our color panel. And as you can see, looking at the image, and now that's obviously lots of snow, and quite often with specifically older cameras, when you were taking pictures, when there was so much snow like this, the snow became blue. It was very common. And uh, there are another examples of color casts. For example, when you're taking a picture during the day when there is a lots of lots of blue sky, quite often lots of the ground and other elements in the image become blue from the sky. Or also another good example is when there is lots of green. So there's grass and the trees and the plants. And uh, again, when you take a picture, even stones and other elements turn green. So that's the color cast and this slider helps you to remove it. So let me show you how it does it. Really, all you need to do is to push the slider 
until you're happy with the result. And you can see how the blue is disappearing and how you're getting pure white. If you haven't noticed it, we can use this preview, the before and after. Let me show you before. Let me show you after. Look how this is so much cleaner, so much prettier, and how easy it is to use it. It's a brilliant tool. I really suggest you to use it. Uh, or what it does, the tool makes the picture a little bit darker, but you can always go back to the develop and just adjust the brightness um, and use this tool because it's really, really handy. So that's our remove color cast. So that's the main three sliders. And now we can move to the HSL. So let's go back to the catalog. And for this example, we're going to use uh, this image right here because it will be uh, really handy. So again, we are in edit module. We are in the HSL here. If you haven't noticed, I have just clicked on this little arrow and that open all of these options. So now there are different colors. And also there is this little drop down uh, toolbar or drop down box. Inside of the drop down box, there is a hue, saturation and luminance. So first of all, let's talk about hue. What the hue does? You adjust the hue or basic color shades of your image for the selected target colors. Now moving the hue slider to the right result in a shift towards the next color in the list. So uh, let me give you an example. For example, from orange to yellow. Sliding it to the left, the sh it shifts the hue towards the previous color in the list. So from orange to the red. So basically, uh, as you can see the end, for example, on the yellow, uh, if I turn it, it will take all the yellow items and turn it towards the green. Let's push it and let's reset it. So you can see the yellows here. You can see them on these items. If I push it all the way, they actually turn green. Now it's not very pretty, but for you to understand, I think it's quite clear. So let's reset it. Um, another good example. For example, there is uh, there was yellow here. Let's see what it did to the corn. You see how it became green. Um, and similarly, if I push it the other way, it will turn it towards the orange. And the colors work between each other. So yellow turns it towards the orange. So orange again turns it towards the yellow and so on. So that's what the hue does. Um, it's quite handy. It can do quite nice tricks. Uh, I'll show you example in a moment, but now let's come back to our options here. So now saturation. Saturation adjusts the color saturation for the selected target or the color. Moving the slider to the right result in more intense color. Moving it to the left removes the color. Now this one probably most common and most often used. And basically you can remove each of this color from your image or you can really intensify it. So for example, we have the yellow right here. So we're going to go to the, our yellow slider. And when we bring it all the way down, it basically removes the yellow from there. Now, quite often, just like in this example here, yellow isn't necessarily just build up from yellow. Sometimes it also has a little bit of orange in it. And that's the case here. So if I go into the orange and bring it down, that's when the color actually really become black and white. So now I can double click again and it resets it. So that's what the saturation does. And the final uh, option, the luminance. The luminance adjusts the brightness of the selected target color. Sliding control further to the right result in brighter color, the further to the left, the darker color. So again, we are looking at the yellow here. And when I go into the yellow, when I slide it towards the left, you can see how it's becoming darker. When I slide it towards the right, it's becoming brighter and brighter. So we went through each of the slider and then there is a final option and it's called hue shift. Now the hue shift, as a slider, it lets you to roll the hue in a photo for a subtle or dramatic changes. A little hue shift is a perfect for eliminating unwanted color tints if the remove color cast is not working for you, while a big shift is a perfect for dramatic style. And now it's time to look at one more of our sample files and see what we can do with it with our color toolbar. So let's go back to the catalog and let's use this image right here. So we can click on edit. And once again, we are in the edit module and we're going to go inside of the color toolbar. Now we don't worry about the saturation vibrance. I'm sure you got the idea of those. I'm sure you understand the remove the color cast. So let's jump into the HSL. One more time, if you can't see it, just click on this little arrow. Now inside of the HSL, let's go into the saturation and let's remind ourselves what the saturation does. The saturation adjusts the color saturation for the selected target. Moving the slider to the right result in more intensive color. Moving it to the left, remove the color. 
Just like in our case, if I shift the red down, it removes some of the red from her dress. But once again, just as in a real uh, life, uh, usually red also has a little bit of orange in it. So for me to remove all the color, you would have to remove the orange completely. Now, as you can see, by doing this, we got a really nice selective color with just the green and a little bit of blue. So now it's completely up to you to make the artistic decision to see what you want to do. I would probably also remove the blue. So let's see if we remove the blue from here and also maybe the cyan. We get this really, really cool selective color effect with just the greens. Next thing what we can do, we can go into the luminance and we can make the green a little bit brighter. So we can do that. We could also make it a little bit darker, but I think we want to create some contrast by making it a little bit brighter. After that, what we can do, we can go into the hue and actually see if we can change the color of the leaves. So we are in a green, we can make them more yellow or we can make them more greener. However, the change is quite subtle because we have removed all the other colors. So the next thing we can do, we can use the hue shift and actually change the color completely. So let me show you what it's going to do. Keep an eye on the leaves you can turn them completely golden. Now, of course, it ad adjusts all the other colors, but don't worry about it too much. It's just to explain you what it does. And then we can keep pushing the hue shift and we can get other colors, more green, purples, white, bright. This actually looks very cool as well. You get this kind of purple, purple effect right here. And let's go the other way. Let's go backwards. We have green. We bring in back some nice red color into her dress, which also makes a really nice effect. And we keep pushing towards the purple, blue and white again. So that's just to show you what the hue shift does. So this is what you can do. And then you can play with the effect even further. You can go back to saturation and let's say that it's not the leaves you want to highlight. So we bring the leaves down as well. Uh, and we bring everything down and let's just play around with it. So let's see what if we would bring the red, what it would do. That is quite cool effect as well. You get this beautiful dress with some leaves around hair. I think that's looking quite nice as well. You can bring some of the orange back and that becomes even more powerful. You could bring some of the green or not, or uh, some of the yellow or not. It's completely up to you. Now the color uh, works quite nicely with the black and white tool. Now, if you haven't used the black and white tool, we have a video already on our channel about it and you should see in the corner of your screen just about now. Now, what you can do here, you can click on convert to black and white and now you can go into the mask. Now, if you haven't used a mask, we have another video about using masking tool in Luminar Neo and you should definitely check it out. We can click on the three dots. We can invert the mask. So basically, we are now having the black and white effect ready. However, we need to decide where we want to apply it. So we will use a brush. We will bring down the softness and we just brush over this upper part of the image just before because we want that part to be black and white and we just want to have the colors in the foreground here. So that's another little thing you can do with the image. I hope this was helpful. These were all the sliders for the powerful color tool here in Luminar Neo. And I hope it's going to help you and push your creativity in this great photo editing application even further. So you stayed until the end. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website, cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.